it with honor. So I feel much better against uh, aggressive decks now that I run two Doomsayer in this deck. I imagine if I draw a Doomsayer, my chances of winning go up a lot in the early game. Still gonna get run over those times I don't draw Doomsayer though. Well, sometimes not. It's like the first step is if I get Doomsayer, my chances of winning go really high. If I don't draw Doomsayer, well, we'll just have to brawl it out. The one four is going face. What a scumbag! Not clearing my one one. <sighs> Hope he gets punished for that. I have any quality in my hands? So. I feel like that attack was really strange. In my favor. And I need to get that mid-range tempo out. Maybe Bookworm meets uh, Tunnel Truck. Uh oh. Ah, never mind. Saved. I either play Bookworm and Guy, or I play Ivory Knight. Bookworm and Guy, I think. Let me think. Let reading dragons lie. I'm definitely Tyrion next. The plan is probably to just actually stabilize on health instead of racing him. Racing him was an option, but... Now I'm too low to really race him. I'll just uh, make sure the flame tongue totem never does anything good. Grab a nice any fin can happen. And then we're good. I can uh, actually. Can I set up two turn lethal here? And again, if I do this, do I also have two? Nine puts him at 13. Oh, yeah, this is better since I also have two turn lethal and I heal. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Time to do a premature celebration. You can only kill me with exactly two Earth uh, Rock Biters. I guess Lava Burst this fall damage shut him too, and a Rock Fire. It's actually pretty cool. Brand plus Elise is not too bad. Could actually do something like Brand, Elise, another Spike Coin, another Spike for the Super Mega uh, Control variant. I don't think Templar is that bad. 
I also want to tell. I also want to play with it still. It's so hard to believe that Dragon Consort is the weakest card here. Why not cut another Spite Historian because Elise is in the fleet game? Another Spite Historian is the entire reason for this deck. It's probably the best card in the deck. So we're not gonna cut it. I think it's Pyromancer. It's not like I really play that card on turn two ever. I'm gonna try that. The first Pyromancer cut was painful, the second Pyromancer cut... Is that even more painful? I think the Ivory Knight is essential. I think the Bookworm is great. I might switch it out later. I think the Night Pain Templar is great. Basically, I haven't had enough time to try out uh, the... To test out these Karazhan cards, of which there are six of them in this deck. It's a Karazhan Fiesta in here. How will you get values from your equalities now without Pyros? I still have two Consecration. And the Nightbane Templar is an equality activator because you get Doctor 3 here summons two 1-1 one, one whelps, which are good with equality. The hero power of Paladin works with equality. I think it works out. Your soul shall be mine. I will fight with honor. Starting with Doomsayer. Hooray! Reporting for duty. <laughs> Why do you call? Reporting for duty. Well, I always have the quality consecration to catch up. I'll get beat up for a turn. Yes! Yes! No! Yes! No! No! Oh, the train was so good for me. Alright, well, thanks for overcommitting, I guess. Yeah, I missed one damage. Whatever. Still good. Still good. Do I play Twilight Guardian and not die to. I guess. I want to play on Curve and play Azure Drake. But I guess that might be a little dumb. Hit me. That would suck with Soul Fire, huh? Yeah. Stop <sighs> so I'm gonna have my choice of either healing or clearing the board. And I can't clear the board, so I guess I'll heal. Five, eight. Oh my gosh, I almost missed lethal. Last warning. Oh. To the 
reporting for duty. Why do you fall? Get it out! Get it out! Oh, <laughs> one turn late on Soulfire. Never lucky him. There, that'll make him feel more bitter. I could have killed him with the Doomsayer too. I mean, the Corruptor. There's not that many cards to toss to Elise, since it's mostly minions, and minions can always be played. So if I want to win the late game, I suppose I can just put in the card that wins the late game. That much is fair. I will fight with honor. Okay, it's a dragon, or I mean, it's a control warrior. If he's running Malkazar. So, just a card true heart's going to be really good. I was about to say, I'm not sure if I can win this game if I don't have Doomsayer on turn 2 against Dragon Warrior. Uh, this into this might have been okay. Into that, if I had a dragon. I'll have to test that out sometime. And I would have had that curve. In this matchup, it's possible that I'll just press the button a lot and then win the game. Thanks, just a card, true heart. For justice, the battle, the battle. In this matchup, I'm also going to do um, the Bran historian historian. Oh, like that's the baseline goal. Probably shouldn't play Azure Drake into him having an easy uh, Ravaging Ghoul. But I guess it's okay. I'll have good Ravaging Ghouls someday. Like, it's almost difficult for him to ever have a Ravaging Ghoul that isn't good. play Justicar into the perfect removal. Because I actually value the 6-3 from Justicar. You can just play her as an 8-drop. In a matchup where you want to hit the button every turn anyways. Look at that guy. No respect for Justicar Trueheart. The 6-3 is so powerful. But I have three guys. Which is the perfect... Uh, I could also... No, I'll lead, I'll lead this way. And finally, it's time for our... the winner. Ooh, Fool's Bane! It's pretty cool. I don't really want to play Justicar Card True Art into a 3 attack weapon. What if I just played Tyrion here? For justice. The battle. Put your faith in the light. But he's so low that I'll just try to kill him. Let the pain speak to me. only works on the simple-minded. He's pulling out the combo! And I appreciate this guy's science. This man's science is powerful.
I'll give it enough respect, to, you know, or will I? I don't have to kill that thing. Yeah, all right. Justice. What a bookworm bit. No, bookworm has no friends. That's very sad. I dream as a world trade. Nice. Friend for bookworm? Eat you, Sarah? Oh. At least uh, Justice Card gets value. Interestingly, with uh, the five cards added from Prince Malkazar, we're at about the same amount of cards now. It doesn't matter that much. It probably won't go into fatigue. That's a really good card against this deck. Actually, going to leave him unpunished on that one. Face the heirs of Reporting for duty. Can play Ivory Knight and then like discover a card and then just play it, but I'm not going to. Two Iron Forge. Well, this guy's going full Karazan warrior. We praise his science. Iron Forge Portals, the Malkazar, the Illusionist, and the Fool's Bane. The only thing it's lacking is a good deck. But you know, some people play this game for different reasons. Some play it for mad science. I'm actually doing that right now, pretty much. Some people play it to win. One of the reasons for playing is wrong. Some people just try to get all the value they can. That's their way of having fun. That's me. I push the button. My roleplay lost. I could have done Bran Dragon Consort Nether Spite in this door in there, but I definitely want to go Bran two Nether Spites. Plus, I wouldn't get to press the button. I thought earlier you described your magic archetype as Johnny instead of a Spike. Yeah, this is very Johnny of a deck, isn't it? I mean, his deck is super Johnny, but I'd say for the most part, this season, especially with uh, releases. Uh, let loose the Johnny inside. Reporting for duty. I have no time for games. Let her loose. To the Reporting for duty. Oh, this button is so good. Praise Justicar. What the? Oh, right. Impressive. The battle. The battle. Reporting for duty. The battle. 
To show him the proper amount of respect. I'm gonna try to win the game by just pressing this button with some... With minimal interference from my cards. I mean, that was basically my strategy anyways, though. Two Fools Bane and two Violet Illusionist. It's just so wonderful. I've got the backup plan of four dragons if this doesn't work out somehow. the guys. All you can do is slow the guys. It's at a moment like this where I'm glad that Justicar Trueheart is in the deck instead of Elise, who I had also considered. Is getting respectable value. For justice, the battle. Face the heirs of magic. Reporting for duty. What? What? No, <laughs> dragon. I just assumed with such a big hand that I had a dragon. Oh well. Uh, standing in for whelps is silverhand recruit. Of uh, Malkazar pull. You got Nazoth, Yasera, Gromish, Viola, and then one more. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. No! So much value. So many more buttons to be pressed. I will fight with honor. Thanks. Reporting for duty. My play be thirsty. Face the air. This never goes wrong. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. It sometimes goes wrong, but you just bravely do it. Nightbane Templar Equality combo. Nice. For the life binder. For the life binder. I wield 
the power. The battle! The battle! Pretty bad. I'm probably gonna want a brand plus ivory knight, so I cost uh, nine or eight with the coin. For justice. Five, so I'm at eight. Move quickly. Gromish can't kill me yet. I should play this card. Face the heirs of Since I actually don't have an answer to the Crusher if he plays it, and if I play the Peacekeeper. Dragon in hand. It's a good card, also. He's gonna play that plus that. Seems good, too, though. Then that'll make him concede. Even get another spite historian with it. If I wanted value, which is not really necessary. Room. Room. Once upon a time. Room. Room. Last warning. Come, let us end this. The menagerie is for guests only. It's the best play here. The brand's out, maybe it's Azure Drake and Nikons. timing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know what's good against Deathwing? Two Doomsayers. It's also hilarious. Though, admittedly he hasn't drawn an Execute yet.
No, I was just wondering how to get Valley out of those two doomsayers. Guess I got him. Got that Valley. Somehow. <laughs> 